A very, very warm welcome and a good evening to this Mercedes-Benz GLA 200 AMG Line Premium Plus Edition. So it's got a fabulous amount of specification with the fact that it's an AMG Line Premium and Plus Packs. So lovely, lovely car, finished in polar white. It's a 2022 on a 72 plate. It still has just under a year's warranty with Mercedes-Benz and uh, as always we will be servicing the car having a B service using genuine oil from Mercedes and filters so that's a pollen filter engine oil and oil filter all from Mercedes-Benz we will of course update the service uh, data in the vehicle and we'll print off the receipts for the parts and the work carried out this vehicle is only available because the owner has now emigrated to Australia in fact she's gone over to Perth so Lauren, who owned the car as a second owner, sold the car to us as she was emigrating. So that's a reasonable excuse, I believe. Um, it's in polar white, as I say, which is a non-metallic finish, lovely condition. It's got the brushed aluminium trim on the roof rails and around the windows. And it's got further chrome uh, adornments to the bottom of the doors and the front uh, lower bumper. Has a huge Mercedes emblem on the grille at the front has a reverse camera, has an electric sunroof which is opening at the front and affixed behind so pretty much uh, the whole roof almost is uh, fi finished with the glass panoramic sunroof, a lovely lovely touch. It has front and rear parking sensors also, comfort access so you no need to blip the key, you can blip the key of course but you just put your hand on the handle, opens and do so to exit and close the car with the mirrors folding in. Um, it's the revised interior, so lovely space when we go inside the car, and it's covered just 23,000, I think 676 miles, but we'll have a look and confirm that once we go in. Matching tyres, Continentals, wheels in great condition as well, so that's all positive, and uh, headlights in good condition, there's the odd stone chip, um, but we have used again a Mercedes touch-up pen and it's touched in really really well as you can see Peter from BCP car detailing our partner and Tim Richardson have worked their wonders on the vehicle uh, Peter on the bodywork machine polish with a ceramic top coat and Tim on the interior and then yours truly has just gone around and uh, just um, titivated it wherever I felt it was needed it's a genuine windscreen with the Mercedes signature in the, in the driver's side bottom and there is the VIN number. Going up, we've got the sunroof in the tilt and something's just dropped down on it, I think it's a moth, it's seen, seen its last days, so uh, sadly. But uh, there's a the sunroof and it will slide back over the second panel which is just there. Um, I think the car Yes, it's in Apple CarPlay at the moment, so my phone's an Apple, but it also has Android Auto and Lauren has left the USB cable from Mercedes so you can access your phone via the apps and um, it's a useful cable because it's genuine and uh, she did leave it in for the next owner, so thank you Lauren. And at the moment we've got a purple-esque lighting, LED lighting all around the car, but you can change the colour. We've got some photographs of it blue. It's just a really nice place. Very comfortable car. I drove it back from Oxford and almost achieved 50 miles to the gallon. So really, again, um, very economical. It's a seven speed automatic. You have an armrest and there's USB-Cs. There's two of those. And then you have the adapter cable to make it into an old fashioned normal, as I call USB. Plenty of room in the back. You have a headroom, especially if you're six foot plus, you'll fit in this car easily. And you've got some um, nets on the back of the seats. We have got a photograph of the seat folded down, it is really simple to do. It's 60 40. Let me just see if I can show you. There it is. So that's with the seat folded down, so you've got extra space should you need it. There's also a USB-C for backseat passengers if you need to charge. The 
GLA 200 and that's the boot and uh, you have an emergency spare sorry not you don't have an emergency spare I correct myself you have the inflation kit compressor and tie sealant um, whether you can put a, you, another you can get from Mercedes a wheel I don't know you might be able to actually you might just be able to but uh, anyway the locking wheel nuts are in there and all tools that the car came with are in there as well GLA 200 Cheshire cars have been in business for almost 29 years and we have an enviable reputation for good and straightforward and honest car dealing all our reviews are available online with Google Auto Trader and Facebook so we do encourage you to have a read through some of those reviews we were instrumental in the UK delivery it's a service that we've offered for almost 14 years and in that time we've never ever had to be disappointed or disappoint any of our clients so that means we've never had a rejection um, car finance and exchange are available should you require please get in touch with me David Billsborough either by phone or by email or we do have a facility on auto trader to live chat as well so and we also have WhatsApp or WhatsApp on the um, on the website so a lovely lovely steering wheel there's far too much to go through in an 11 minute video but I'll go through some of the main features that I think you'll be interested in seeing um, let's go in the car now we've just taken the car on Friday we have it booked in at Mercedes-Benz in Stoke there is a outstanding recall notice for electronic update on the power steering which we are having carried out by um, Mercedes it's not critical it's not a critical update it's just a, a desirable one which we always check anyway with the manufacturers regardless of the age of car because these updates are absolutely free and we think it's important that um, we keep them updated as a dealer and responsible dealer so we will be taking it to Mr Stoke on Trent we're waiting whilst they do it. it's about an hour and then that will be tip top and ready to roll for the next owner after we've of course carried out the B service which will probably go into next week now so GLA all pretty much adorned with high quality finishes and you've noticed those of you that um, oh it has changed the colour it's gone from <laughs> it was blue a second ago it's now gone back to purple so we'll have a look at in the settings if we can leave it on one colour I don't know it's gone to red now hasn't it I quite like that actually um, so you do have multifunction controls on both sides of the steering wheel and when I was driving it back about sort of 10 days ago now I did get used to everything but you've got cruise control you've got speed limiter um, and uh, also tiptronic controls here and there is your gear selector so to select a gear you always cover your brake pedal and then just move it up for reverse we'll just do that for you and there is the camera and also you get on the right hand side here you get uh, how close you are to any obstacles so that's a handy little thing now just if you what you will do you'll see on the end here there's a button just press that button it automatically puts the car back into P for park and there we go we're in P for park and that's displayed just there if you can see that uh, 23,676 miles and we are absolutely guaranteeing that mileage so cruise control and let's have a look if we can get this up for you so yeah so there's another nice so you just go across on this here just very gently and then you've got to uh, tell you B service is due uh, says plus so we'll be carrying that out obviously Lauren didn't carry it out she was going to Australia but uh, and there's a the navigation so what you do also get is you get navigation on the display there so you can either use Apple CarPlay or the Mercedes navigation system or you can use Waze, some people seem to be using Waze these days now we have just got our, our, just under half a tank of fuel and that is E5 fuel so we use the premium grade fuel whether it's petrol or diesel we do recommend that you do as well it's just a better fuel, all round better fuel it is more expensive but uh, you might pay from 10 to 15 pence per litre higher than E10 but it's okay to use E10 but E5 is preferred 
you have, um, sorry, on here, heated seats. So is it two-stage heating? Sorry, three-stage heating. I'm just blocking it out off and showing you. That's your heated seats. There are your mirrors folding. Let's just show you. And they will fold in when you lock the car anyway. And it, up above me is the sunroof. And, well, the pan roof, really. It's double, isn't it? One at the back as well. So, yeah, lovely, lovely car. And um, you have, very much like BMW, you have a pad. You have a sort of a square pad here. And you just go along. You'll see that as I'm scrolling, moving the screen, can't you? So, and we go down to Mercedes if we can, which is just going to be. So we go back to Mercedes, and then it goes back to the home screen that I've set. You can set your own home screen. Uh, let's go back. Let's go into navigation. For there you go. That's the large screen navigation. It's 10, 10 inches wide. The screen 10.2, I think it is. So a lovely large screen. It's 3D as well. So. And there's your heater controls. Um, menu is there, and then you'll just touch it as you go, and it's dual zone as well. So back to the so yeah, there we go. We have got a look at that. We have got a instruction book, a manual, good old manual. Mercedes still hanging on to them. So there we go. That's the uh, GLA on a seventy-two plate. Lovely, lovely car. And uh, it's available right now. Now we don't expect you to buy the car unseen, but some people do. But if you wanted to do that, that's fine. There is a reserve tab on, a, on our website and also on Auto Trader. But if you want to speak to us first, by all means, email and telephone us, and we'll be delighted to tell you anything more about this vehicle. We do buy cars um, for bank transfer. In fact, we're buying one tomorrow, BMW X1. Um, been recommended to the owners, so we'll be buying that car 